Uh, with my sack. Uh, just had to rescue not one but two bees. They've flown off happily, but it's just distracting me slightly. Uh, just get some music on in the background. Turn that to a TV. now. Alright, so we'll start off um, in a standing position today. So we're going to place our feet hip width apart, shoulders back and down, looking straight ahead. So remember as usual to just have that slight um, contraction of your abdominal muscles, so you're just gently pulling your belly button towards your spine. Remember to breathe as well, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. So we're going to move on to our first exercise to get some mobility into the body. We're just going to breathe normally, roll onto the toes and then roll back onto the heels. So you're just rocking nice and gently forward and backwards. So we're getting some mobility into the ankles and you might feel it into your calf muscles as well. Day today, just a little bit of work to do now, and then can go and enjoy the sunshine. Okay, placing the feet flat on the floor. We're going to take a deep breath in, and then on the out breath, we're going to squat down, and then inhale as we gently rise. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. So just keeping our knees very slightly bent at the top so that we're not locking the knee joint. into the spine we're breathing in to begin with and then on the out breath we're tucking the chin in slowly rolling down inhaling as we gently roll back up as we exhale tuck the chin in slowly roll down inhale to roll back up one. A little bit more mobility for the spine, we're breathing in and then on the out breath we're sliding the hand 
down to the knee, inhaling as we return, exhaling to the opposite side. So try not to lean forward or back, try and just keep that movement lateral. Change direction, exhale back and up, inhale forward and down. And I'm just going to do one more. going to move into the main session. So we're going to combine two moves together, we're going to do the push-up and the leg pull. So uh, quite a challenging combo but um, I will show you the least intense option first, stick with that um, if you need to, only progress if you feel confident to. So the feet are hit with apart, we're taking a breath in, watch the first one by the way if you need to. As you breathe out you tuck your chin into your chest. You slowly roll down through the spine. Bring your knees to the floor when you start to feel the stretch into the hamstrings. And then we just take the hands off the mat so they're wider than shoulder width. Inhale, slowly lower the chest to elbow height. Exhale as you push up. And then walk your hands back. And then we slowly roll up through the spine. I said we're combining the push up and the leg pulled in, so never mind, we'll just do this. <laughs> Exhale, tuck the chin in. It's too hot to be bothered, isn't it? Uh, so we roll forward. So if you're going for the more challenging option, then you'll keep your knees off the floor. So you breathe in, breathe out, bend your knees, slowly walk those hands back. Remember to tuck your chin in, stacking the vertebrae back up on top of one another, one at a time. And again, big breath in. Then as you breathe out, slowly tuck the chin in. Breathe in. Breathe out, so make sure that push-up is really slow. And if you're doing the push-up on your knees, that's absolutely fine. You're still gonna get a good workout. But just make sure you bring your knees to the floor first and then start to walk your hands forward. The further away your hands are from your knees, the more intense the push-up will be. So if you're in this position, this is more of a challenge than in this position. So your, I can't see that. So your knees and your hands are a lot closer together. So you're in more of a tabletop box position there. And then as we come up onto the feet, Again, make sure you're rolling up 
rather than standing up and coming up through the hips. So we're going to do two more of those. We inhale, we exhale. Going to come back up onto our feet once we finish doing the one that we're doing. Okay, well done. So if you're still doing, then carry on and you can uh, catch up when you're done. Should be nearly there now. We're going to move on to the standing spine twist. This is a really nice mobility exercise for the spine. We're bringing our hands together, tucking our fingers under the chin, thumb rests against the chest. We're breathing in to begin with, and then on the out breath, we just twist from the waist. Then we inhale, we come back to centre, and then we exhale in the opposite direction. So the main thing is that you're keeping your hip bones facing forward and you're not letting your legs twist in your hips. So that hands are in this position so that we know that we're keeping the chin centre of the body and we're not just turning the head. So if you're competent at doing that, you don't need your hands to guide you, then you can just fold the arms in front of you. So again, your knees and your hips shouldn't move. Option is to take your arms wide. We're going to hit the wall in there. That's not a good one for me in that position with the wall there. But just make sure you're not swinging your arms around independently. They stay in the same position relative to the upper body as you twist. with what you can do well. Focus on breath. So you exhale as you take away. Inhale, push your return. Squeezing your belly button towards your spine. Yeah, so I'm just going to do one more in each direction. I'll just keep going until you've done the same amount on each side. Done. Okay, I reckon you've earned yourself a lie down now. So we're going to get ourselves onto the floor. We're going to do some hip work now. So we're going to work on strength and mobility of the hips. So we have done this one before. You may not have done it with me if you've uh, not done that particular session. So we're going to just bring ourselves into neutral spine position. A little space between your lower back and your mat. We take a breath in and then on the out breath we raise one knee. So we just have the hand placed onto the leg. We take a breath in and then on the out breath we just circle the hip, keeping the shin level to the ceiling. Exhale and inhale. So try not to bend the knee or straighten the knee. Should remain more or less at the same angle. Now, if you want to increase that range of movement, you can by taking your hand away 
and then your third option is to have your leg straight. So I want you to do four more in that direction. Just bear with me a second. Sorry, the cat was just scratching the door to get in. <laughs> okay, so a couple more in that direction. And then we're going to change direction. So we exhale away, inhale as we return. intensity into the hips. If you can't manage by doing half a dozen in one direction and half a dozen in the other, then just do what you can. I always say this, you can stop any of these exercises any time that you need to. So just listen to what your joints and your muscles are telling you. going to do one more there. Placing the foot down. Okay, we're going to go straight onto the other side and then we'll stretch together. So we're taking a breath in and then the, the out breath. We're bringing that second leg up. Take a big breath and then as you breathe out, circle away. Inhaling as you return. So again, you've got your hand to the leg if you just need to just restrict your range of movement, that will just help you take in that circle too far. And then you've got without the hand option, and then you've got your straight leg option. Try and keep the rest of your body really, really still. this weather isn't it even just doing a nice slow class like this one okay, we're going to change direction Let's do one last one. Well done. So we're going to stretch both hips now, bringing ankle to knee, and then just pushing the knee out to the side. So we're feeling that lovely release into the front of the hip. Same on the other side. Okay, nice work, well done. So we're going to roll over onto our sides now. We're going to do the side kick. Not the side kick, the side bend. Alright, so we have the elbow under the shoulder, we bring the heels up to bum and we have uh, the feet in line with the spine. 
So before we start to do anything, we'll just make sure we're not slouching down towards the floor and we just lift the rib cage away from the floor slightly so that we've got a good posture. First option is to breathe in and then on the out breath, the hips up towards the ceiling. We inhale, go back down towards the floor, but before your hip touches the floor, you take another out breath and then you inhale and slowly come down and exhale. Option is just let your arm move up and down. It's quite a toughie this one, so you can only manage a handful, just do what you can. Those of you that are more regular to doing the session, doing this exercise, we'll be able to do a few more. Okay, carry on for as long as you can. When you are ready to change sides, going to sweep your legs around to the other end. So again we're placing the elbow under the shoulder, heels up to bum feet flexed in line with the spine. Again we've got that good strong posture so we're holding through the abdominals and then on the out breath the hips float up. So it's not a huge range of movement. shoulder, you may have felt it in your arm, your upper arm as well. Switch sides. Nice work, well done. So we're going to bring ourselves around to sitting position now to do the roll up. So we're sitting up nice and tall, we just take the legs, um, feet uh, on the floor so the legs are bent and then we just take our hands Round the backs of our thighs. We're sitting up tall. We inhale, we tilt, curve, just gently squeeze our stomach muscles in again. And then as we breathe out, we're coming back up to sitting position. Again, we inhale, tilt, curve, roll down. And exhale up. Progression from there is to inhale, tilt, roll down. As you exhale, you carry on moving towards your mat. Inhale, we change direction. And then we exhale, we're coming back to that upright posture again. So the spine is nice and straight rather than it being flexed. And then as we start that next movement again, we get that flexion, inhale and exhale. So to progress, slowly come down all the way and then inhale and exhale and as you come up so nice and smooth slow steady so it's all about being consistent in your speed remembering less is more so the slower we do these exercises the more intense they become more challenging Therefore, we will get more benefit 
and doing them slower. I'm going to do a couple more if you can. Excellent, well done. And then we're going to bring ourselves down into a full body stretch. Arms overhead, pointing the toes. to move on to my favourite one. So we're going to do the shoulder bridge now. So bringing the heels in as close as we can. Arms relaxed on the floor. So we're taking an inhale, tilting the pelvis, so we're coming out of neutral by pressing the lower back into the floor. And then as we breathe out, we come up onto our shoulder blades. Then we inhale, we slowly lower the spine back down to the floor, one vertebrae at a time. Exhaling back into neutral spine and pelvis. So we start off with that little space between the lower back and the mat. Inhale and exhale. So we're just lifting up onto our shoulder blades, not onto the neck. Progression inhale and exhale. Then we inhale, we take our arms overhead. Exhale, bring our hands back to the floor. So we're squeezing into the glutes, keeping those hips up in the air, and then we inhale and exhale back down. So you take six breaths in total for that one. Inhale and exhale, and then inhale and exhale, and inhale. Exhale. Okay, so progression. If any of you are wanting to just work that bit harder, a couple of options with this progression. One is slightly easier than the other, so I'll do the least intense one first. So we inhale and exhale. Try and keep your weight out of your arms, making sure your arms are not supporting your body weight. Inhale, lift one foot. Exhale, extend the leg. Inhale, bring the knee back above the hip, and then exhale. So it's up to you, you can then come back down out of the bridge if you want to keep the benefit of the mobility for the spine in the exercise. If you want to work solely on strength, you'll come up into your bridge position. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and keep switching from one leg to the other, making sure whatever's happening, these hips are not moving away from the ceiling. So you're keeping those hips up. So if you're unable to do that, I strongly recommend that you come back down to the previous options. to move on into a release stretch once you've done that one. Excellent, well done. Ok, 
Okay, so we're going to do the one leg stretch now. So, first option, we take a breath in, and then on the out breath, we raise the leg. So the knee set above the hip. We breathe in to begin with, and then on the out breath, the thigh becomes parallel with the other thigh, and you point your toes up to the ceiling, inhale as you come back. So your knee stops above the hip rather than swinging right back above the abdomen. So toes up to the ceiling, thighs parallel. So you'll continue on that leg either until I ask you to change or until you feel the need to if that happens first. All right, so level two, both of the legs are raised. Keep uh, your lower back nice and close to the ground. Breathe in and then on the out breath. Extend, inhale, return. So it's the same movement as level previous option that showed you, but you've just got both legs in the air and you're alternating. And then the next option is the same as the previous one, but with your head and your shoulders off the floor. To bring it right back to basics you can bring your feet to the floor breathe in and then as you breathe out slide your heel along the floor keeping the heel down on the floor and then inhale as you slowly return to start position so that brings it right back to basics if you uh, can't manage with either of your legs in the air Taking it slowly, keep gently squeezing those abdominal muscles, a little space between your lower back and the floor. So if you're on level one, where you're sliding your heel along the floor, or level two, where you've just got the same leg moving at the same time, then you can switch onto your other leg. shaking now so we're strengthening the abdominals and the back stretch. I don't know where the time's gone now, so that every session we are going to finish off. I think it's really important that we always include this one with the swan dive for lower back strength. So bring our arms out nice and wide, elbows in line with the shoulders. We take a breath in, and then on the out breath, we lift the head, shoulders, top of the chest, and then we inhale as we slowly release. So this is great for posture, great for strengthening the back. So we're targeting all the muscles that run up the side of the spine, either side of the spine. Progression. So let the arms gently float up gently release down and then final option is to extend our arms overhead breath in and then on the out breath walk them up inhale on the way down so a couple of things to bear in mind is that we keep length in the neck by keeping our eyes looking down at the mat avoid lifting your chin and looking forward 
and also make sure you're not squeezing your bum and lifting your legs. Your feet should stay on the floor and your, from your hips down you should remain really, really relaxed. So we're just getting the benefit for those muscles in the back. session completed so I hope you enjoyed that have a great weekend enjoy the sunshine just to mention there is a little bit of um, a shake up to the classes that I teach next week just a little bit more variety so uh, there'll be a combination of yoga body tone circuit pilates legs rolls and tongues I think I've remembered them all uh, so hopefully you'll be able to join me uh, for some of those have a lovely weekend in the sunshine you've earned it and I will see you next week.